You know, in light of yesterday's message, I want to say something because I know people uh, run off with so many premises that are false and ideas that are false that I, I felt like I need to kind of cover myself here so that people don't misunderstand. There's nothing wrong with uh, having a good IQ, intelligence quotient, measurement of your, your, your mind. Uh, there's nothing, nothing wrong with study and enriching the human mind. Uh, we have the mind of Christ, but we also are to have a spirit that is perfected. Uh, the, the spirit is perfected as we dwell uh, in, in the holy city, Mount Zion, which is a figure of speech telling us we've, we've come to a place that uh, uh, is filled with angels. It's Mount Zion where men's spirits are perfected. So there's a perfecting of our spirit. We have to rid ourselves of a lot of things that we've acquired through the span of our life. Uh, but that doesn't mean that our mind shouldn't, our human mind shouldn't be enriched either. We're, we're supposed to study uh, the Word of God. And, and, and so the, God wants us to have a solid mind. But uh, people are going to say, well, that Klein, you know, he must be a Pentecostal or something because he's not all about uh, study and enriching the mind. That's not the truth. Uh, I, I do believe that, that, that every person should have their own personal Pentecost. But Pentecostalism is not emotionalism, not in, in the biblical sense of it. It's a revelation of God that surpasses human understanding. And uh, I would that come to every person. That, that's something God wants to give to every person, this explosive manifestation of God's Spirit in you. And uh, that isn't to say that people that haven't had it aren't believers. There, there are plenty of believers that have the Holy Spirit, but the explosion of the Spirit that you see manifested on uh, the Mount of Transfiguration in the person of Jesus, this overwhelming uh, reality of the kingdom of God coming upon us in such a way that you can't even describe it. It's so magnanimous, powerful, wonderful, but not to the exclusion of enriching our human mind. That, that's not what I'm talking about. So I want to dispel any criticism at the get-go and nip it in the bud. Uh, one, one of the scriptures uh, that frightens me and frightens the hell out of me is the scripture that is the parable of the man that shows up in the wedding feast and he's not clothed properly. And, and, and the man says, you know, Lord, what's the deal? I, you know, haven't I, haven't I done miracles in your name, Lord? Haven't I cast out demons? Haven't I, you know, blah, 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 blah. Haven't I done this in your name? And the Lord says, I never knew you. You know, we can know a lot of things from the Bible. We can have a lot of head knowledge about the Bible. But that doesn't mean God knows us. It doesn't say in the parable, you never knew me. It says, I never knew you. It's important that God knows us. Now, uh, I know a lot of things about President Trump. I see him on TV almost every day. I, I, I know some of his idiosyncrasies. I see here his policies. I see the kind of man he is. I know a lot of things about President Trump from the television. But I, I, I can't say that he knows me. In fact, I know he doesn't know me because I've never spent time in his presence. So I may know him, but he doesn't know me. And that's a good picture of something we should all take to heart. Does God really know us? And you can say, well, God knows everybody. No. Are you spending enough time in his presence that he knows you? And I think for the most part, most people don't spend any time or very little time in the courts of the Lord. And so I want God to know me. I want him to know all about me. I want him to know me through the fact that I'm there constantly praying and, and, and walking in the courts of the Lord. And I want to encourage you to be people that are known by God, not just know a lot of things about the Bible. Well, I know this doctrine, I know that doctrine, I know where this scripture is. And you can know all those things and still not be known of the Lord. So let's be people that are known of God. Okay?